began the fast in or a mid October and I ended the fast or mid November that 40 day fast and I got these blood test results um, just I was curious and I got them done both around the same time frame I got it done um, right before the fast began I had fasted for about um, 20 hours I went or at the same time 10 30 in the morning and then after the 40 day fast was over I went back around 10 days after the fast was over and then I was pretty much back into eating regularly and then I got the test done around the same time in the morning as well and uh, here are some results that I want to share with you that I've compiled into an Excel sheet just for easier viewing and comparison so I got a bunch of tests done it's the standard I guess lipid panel I guess they call it the comprehensive metabolic panel I'm not sure what you call it but uh, and, and then the complete blood count test as well as a testosterone test so I'm gonna just go over them real quick I'm not a you know clinical dietitian or a doctor so I can't really interpret these results very closely but there were some interesting findings that I was curious about and they came out in the numbers so I just wanted to share some of them with you so the pre 40 day fast in the lipid panel we can see that my cholesterol was at 185 here's the reference ranges in, in the units that I'm referencing after the 40 day fast uh, it has come down to 146 which I'm very happy about and again uh, during the 40 day fast I have explained that you know I did cheat a few times I had friends come over I had a salad at a restaurant and and there were a couple of times when I actually had to eat uh, with alcohol now with friends so you know some of these results would have been even more drastic if I hadn't cheated some of those times HDL is pretty much similar it even went up a little bit I'm not sure what that's about triglycerides has dropped almost 20 points I think that's the cholesterol the fat level found in the blood so I'm sure that that looks like a positive change to me LDL cholesterol has dropped here 101 to 62 I feel like that's a good sign and otherwise it looks uh, pretty like unchanged like glucose level was 81 to 74 not a big change there and I'm gonna put a link down below so that you can actually have access to the sheet it's not exactly confidential information these are just points in time so you can definitely just look at this all you want and uh, here's some of the uh, I think the, the metabolic panel I think and and some of these levels are pretty much identical I can't really interpret these results very closely I'm not sure what it's exactly saying but um, there were some key differences uh, for example the AFT and ALT level below but I'm not sure what those indicate so I'm not gonna talk about that this is the insulin like growth factor one levels I think that's a pretty significant change from 121 to 87 so I'm not sure what this is referring to but I just wanted to point that out um, probably has something to do with insulin sensitivity uh, this is the complete blood count which I also thought was interesting please disregard some of the things that are here like units that I just copied and pasted from this PDF which didn't completely translate but uh, the white blood cell count for me that's always been low because I follow a vegan diet so it was 3.1 before the fast and then you see here it's 2.5 um, after the fast I need to you know get more you know white blood cells <laughs> in my body um, red blood cell went down white blood cell count went down hemoglobin went down hematocrit went down apparently it was too high before but it came down to a lower level I guess uh, I don't really know how to interpret the other results it, there's something called neutrophils here apparently absolute neutrophils was much higher before the 40-day fast and then it came down outside of the reference range after the fast I'm not sure what that means uh, but the cortisol level it actually went up after the fast but I think it's a pretty minimal amount which I think it just indicates you know what I was eating or maybe I was drinking too much coffee <laughs> this is the last uh, column to compare I thought was interesting I mentioned my testosterone levels and um, the total testosterone went down a little from 740 to 617 uh, but what I thought was interesting was this sex hormone binding glo globulin I have no idea how to pronounce these actually went up after the 40-day fast I'm not sure what that's about but overall it looks like the free testosterone and the bio available testosterone went down 92.7 to 50.7 here and then bioavailable 206 to 108 um, and I think the sex hormone binding globul globulin <laughs> helps to bind to estrogen any excess estrogen in the blood so I guess um, both that went up which uh, might have helped with like binding to estrogen but my testosterone also decreased so uh, these are some interesting findings 
and again this this post 40 day fast test was done 10 days after the fast was done 10 days after resuming food so maybe um that had something to do with the testosterone and the uh, cafe um the uh what is it the cortisol levels as well but just want to share them with you if you're uh, interesting or anything stands out and we can definitely discuss them in the comments but uh hopefully this is some interesting news but um yep bye